What's up? John Tucker here. Nice to see you. It feels awesome to be putting ideas out into the world. And I've been thinking a lot about the way creativity is shared. You see, I want to make the Tucker Zone your, the you zone. So as part of that, this week only on the TuckerZone.com, you can get a customized 3D sound experience just for you. But that's all for after. Right now, I think we have some unfinished business. All right, activating initiation sequence. Hold tight. Three, two, one. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. A fifth dimension beyond which is known to man. As vast as space, as timeless as infinity. An area which we call... Hey, thanks for coming back. It's been so exciting this past week. Phase two is rolling out. I have so much to show you. After feeling lost these past couple years, reflecting, looking back into the past, going back in time, and seeing it as separate, helped me embrace it as a complete part of my life. It helped me accept and not try to recreate the old, but get excited about the new. You know, I'm having a realization right now, actually. You see, the past is a foundation. The experiences I've had and information I've consumed before is the basis I have to work on. And I can build on top of that and work on something new. It's the same with something as fundamental as our evolution. If a certain trait was advantageous, everything developed around that. If situations changed, that trait had to change too. But it had to work with the previous iteration, something that had evolved for a completely different purpose. Why would it only evolve in one way with all the ways it could possibly? Well, I guess it didn't. That's why there's so many species here on Earth. If that first little change of the very first microbial life had just happened to go a different way, would everything be different? It's weird. It's like the process of improving naturally led to us, a species that is focused on improving the process of improving itself. See, I want to take these new realizations and expand my perspective, apply them to my life, and improve upon that foundation. <laughs> Shake things up a bit. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Here, duck your head down. Get over here. I think it's over. Guess we can go back up. Hey, we're outside. It's crazy. Everything humans have made is just created by putting all this stuff together. Trees, rock, whatever, in different ways. I know I can do that, but it takes resources to create. I think I was thinking wrong about it before. I thought if I created ideas people liked, the resources would naturally come so I could create more. But now, realizing those resources themselves are a game. The money game. Now, I can play that game to achieve the freedom to beat it without compromising quality, and I want you to do it with me. So here's what I'm thinking. You let me know how it sounds. I'm gonna keep making experiences you want. If you like them and can keep engaging with me, I can utilize our engagement to get the resources I need to create even better experiences for you. We can twist this entire thing on its head. Let me show you what I mean. The platform we can do that on the most right now is social media. It's kind of silly, but let me explain. For example, following me. Okay, try this while I talk. Turn your head to the left to follow my voice around the room as I move, starting now. Okay. Basically, as silly as it sounds, a follow lets me attain resources by showing that I have your support and that I can deliver my experiences directly to you without depending on a middleman. In return, I'm going to give you cool interactive experiences that benefit you on my social media, not just posts of me in the mirror. <laughs> okay, you can stop turning your head now. Another example would be commenting on those ideas I do post. I want to provide something that's beneficial to you, and commenting lets me know if I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> Plus, I just want to keep up with you. If you like my ideas, then we're probably similar. Let's have a conversation. Try this. Say a foo out loud right now. Apple. Oh, okay, sorry. I said one too. I talk a lot and tend to monopolize conversations, obviously. But that's interesting. Is that your favorite? And of course, to wrap it up, sharing can help get those numbers as well. The more numbers of people we have experiencing this stuff, the easier it will be to build better ideas. Hey, let's take a pic to share this moment right now. Look over this way. Say cheese. 
sick. That looks good. Putting this one on the wall. By the way, if you take a pic yourself later of you and a friend listening, tag me. I'll try to put it on my tagged photo section on Instagram too. <laughs> Check that out after. I think you'll like it. Now, let's get to the ideas. What's next in phase two? I think it's time for a brainstorm. Okay, so I want to create an entertaining experience that expands perspectives. That's the why. In order to do that, we've got to blow people's minds in an attention-capturing way. Grab them with entertainment that conveys a big idea in a captivating way. Hmm, what if we do what we've been doing? Go back. Reflect beyond myself. Reflect on humanity as a whole. How insignificantly significant we are. I mean, I wonder how many humans have ever lived. The number's probably huge. And maybe that's how we can convey. Hey, storm's coming in. Here, get under this umbrella. Okay, so now, what is it? Hmm. What if it was a physical, multi-dimensional media experience utilizing a bunch of OLED screens in a pitch black room so stuff would look like it was float? Uh, actually, probably not enough resources for that one yet. It's gotta be something people are used to, but done in a different way. Well, we could do another Tucker Zone. After all, y'all seem to like it in here. But maybe we should try something new too. A new area of ideas. Jeez, it's pouring now. Hey, hey, look, it's one of the other memes from last time. I heard y'all talking. <laughs> hey, what if you mixed the Tucker Zone with something new? Use it as a platform to expand. Yes, I like it. Oh, hey, let me throw in some too. I mean, you should let them be a part of it. They're still here. That's pretty cool. Absolutely, if, of course, that's okay with you. And phase two. So maybe some kind of double reverse? I love the two. It's all great. My hand can't keep up. Wait, wait, wait. I got it! I, I think I figured out the next experience. And I think you're gonna like it. But I wanna surprise you. Before I let you go, I wanna try one more thing. It requires headphones though, so let me get some for you. I'm gonna put these on you now. Just listen. Thanks again for everything. I'll catch you after. You unlock this door with the key of imagination, a fifth dimension beyond which is known to man. As vast as space, as timeless as infinity. An area which we call... Open your eyes now. This is your part, the you zone. Like I was saying earlier, this week only, you can order custom 3D sound experiences on the tuckerzone.com. It's $22, and not only will you get a custom U-Zone experience, where I talk to you by name, delivered on November 22nd, but you'll also be helping me attain resources for a brand new experience for you. Something new. In fact, since it's new, let's drop it on the new moon, November 26th. The other way you can participate is by engaging with me. Check out my Instagram. I'll be highly active this week, dropping ideas and expanding on this idea of sharing creativity. Thanks again for your time. It's the most valuable thing you have. Phase two is in full effect.